Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. In previous video, we had started the new module that is the complex mapping or complex transformation. In that module, we had discussed about the inversion transformation and linear transformation, and we had solved some sums related to that transformations. Okay, so in this video, we will be discussing about the conformal mapping, and we will solve some sums related to the conformal mapping. But before that, we will solve some sums related to the inversion transformation, so we can recall our previous lecture. Okay. So without any further delay, let's get started. So the first numerical is find the image of mode of z plus one equals to one under the transformation w equals to one upon z. Okay. So here, mode of z plus one equals to one is given. So this is the equation of the circle. How I will show. What is z? Z is x plus i y plus one, which is equals to one. Now taking the real part on one side, that is x plus one. And imaginary on the other, so we will get mode of x plus one plus i y. Okay. Now, as we know that mode of x plus i y is equals to under root of x square plus y square. So similarly to the uh, to this equation, we will expand this term. So this is under root of x plus one the whole square plus y square is equals to one. Now squaring on both the sides, we will get x plus one the whole square. Plus y square equals to one. Okay. Now, this is the equation which is compared with x minus h the whole square plus y minus k the whole square, which is equals to r square, where r is the radius and h and k are the centers. For means, center is h comma k. So here h is minus one and k is zero. So here center is minus one comma zero. And radius, radius is one, so radius equals to one. Okay, that means this equation is the circle. This equation belongs to the circle with the center minus one comma zero and radius one. I will show the circle at the last of the solution. Okay, so for now remember the center coordinate and radius. Okay, so now I will expand this equation. So this is x square plus two x. Plus one plus y square, which is equals to one. So this one and this one gets cancelled. So we will get x square plus two x plus y square equals to zero. Let this be the equation number one. Okay. Now here we have this transformation that is w equals to one upon z inversion transformation. So we know that w equals to one upon z can be expanded as z is equals to one upon w, where z is x plus i y. And W is one uh, U plus I V. Okay. Now, whenever we have the complex number in the denominator, we will multiply it by its conjugate. That is here. It is U minus I V upon U minus I V. So he it will be U minus I V upon U square plus V square. This is X plus I Y. I hope you understood this equation. If you had, if you don't understood this equation, then please go and see the first lecture of this module. Okay. So this is now we will separate the real and imaginary part. So this is x is equals to u upon u square plus v square, and y equals to minus v upon u square plus v square. So we get the relation of x and y with u and v. Okay. Now from equation one, from equation one, we can write the values of x and y in equation one. Okay. So we have x. X is u upon u square plus v square the whole square plus two into u upon u square plus v square plus y. What is y? Y is minus v upon u square plus v square the whole square, which is equals to zero because x is equals to u upon u square plus v square and y equals to minus v upon u square plus v square. Okay. So here it will be u square upon u square plus v square the whole square plus two u upon u square plus v square. This minus v the whole square will be plus v square. So it will be plus v square upon u square plus v square the whole square, which is equals to zero. Now this two equation, uh, these two terms have the same LCM. So we will write it together. So this is u square plus v square upon u square plus v square the whole square plus To u upon u square plus v square is equals to zero. So this from this equation we can cut one u square plus v square. Okay, so we will get one upon u square 
plus v square plus 2u upon u square plus v square which is equals to 0. Now you can see this both the terms have the same LCM. Okay, so we can write 1 plus 2u upon u square plus v square is equals to 0. Now this equation, the meaning of this equation is that either the denominator is 0 or the numerator is 0. But if denominator becomes 0, then this term will become as 1 plus 2u upon 0. This tends to infinity. Okay, so this is not possible. That means denominator is not 0. Definitely the numerator will be 0. So 1 plus 2u equals to 0. So u equals to minus 1 by 2. So this is the equation of the line in the w plane. Okay, so this is the equation of the line that is u equals to minus 1 by 2 in the w plane and this is the center coordinates of the circle which, which is given in the equation that is mod of z plus 1 equals to 0 in the xy plane that is z plane. So this is the circle which is given in xy plane that is the z plane with the center minus 1 comma 0 and radius equals to 1 and this circle is converted into the line by using the inversion transformation that is u equals to minus 1 by 2 is the line okay it is the vertical line in the w plane okay. So the next numerical is find the image of mode of z plus 2i equals to 2 under the transformation w equals to 1 upon z. Okay, again the equation of the circle is given. I will show. So here is the equation is mode of z plus 2i which is equals to 2. Okay. So what is z? Z is x plus i y plus 2i equals to 2. So here x is only the real part. So one side and here we have two imaginary pair that is y and 2 so i into 2 plus y or y plus 2 let's say y plus 2 which is equals to 2 okay so we have x plus i y mode of x plus i y which is equals to under root of x square plus y square that is real part square plus imaginary part square so we will apply this equation in the above equation so this is under root of x square plus y plus 2 the whole square which is equals to 2 okay so now we will squaring on the both the sides so we will get x square plus y plus to the whole square which is equals to 4 okay so this equation is compared with x minus h the whole square plus y minus k the whole square which is equals to r square okay so here we have h comma k is the center of the circle so here we have h as 0 comma k is minus 2 so here the center coordinates of the given equation is 0 comma minus 2 and the radius radius is 2 so r equals to 2 okay so this is the circle which is given in the question having the coordinate 0 comma minus 2 and radius is 2 okay so we will draw this circle at the end of the solution so for now remember this coordinates okay so let this equation be as 1 okay we have here y equals to 1 upon z which is inversion transformation. So that means if the equation is given which is of circle in the equation. So using the inversion transformation we will convert this circle into the line in the w plane. Okay. So this is the aim of our equation or the transformation that is inversion transformation. So here z is equals to 1 upon w. So what is that? z is x plus i y. w is 1 upon u plus i v okay so whenever we have the complex in complex part in the denominator we will multiply and divide by its conjugate so we will multiply and divide so x plus i y is equals to 1 upon u plus i v into u minus i v upon u minus i v so this is equals to x plus i y equals to u minus i v upon u square plus v square now we will separate the real and imaginary part so x is equals to u upon u square plus v square and y equals to minus v upon u square plus v square okay before substituting the values we will expand this equation it will be more beneficial so it will be x square plus y square plus 4 plus 4 y equals to 4 so this 4 and this 4 gets cancelled so we will get x square plus y square plus 4 y equals to 0 so now let's substitute the value of x and y in this equation. So this is u square upon u square plus v square the whole square plus y. So minus v the whole square will be plus v square. So it will be v square upon u square plus v square the whole square plus 4 into y. 
so y is minus v upon u square plus v square which is equals to 0 okay now this two uh, these two terms have same lcm so we can write it together so here u square plus v square upon u square plus v square the whole square and this is minus 4v upon u square plus v square which is equals to 0 so 1 v u square plus v square and 1 u square plus v square gets cancelled so we will get 1 upon u square plus v square minus 4v upon u square plus v square which is equals to 0 so these two terms have same lcm so we will write 1 minus 4v upon u square plus v square which is equals to 0 ok so this is the similar sum to the first sum ok so here numerator will be 0 so 1 minus 4 v equals to 0 that means 4 v equals to 1 then v equals to 1 by 4 so this is the equation of the line in the w plane so this is the circle of the given equation with the center as 0 comma minus 2 and radius as 2 ok so this is the circle which is on y axis but in negative direction so this circle is converted using the inversion transformation into the line so this is the equation of the line that is v equals to 1 upon 4 so this is the line on the y axis which is horizontal okay in the w plane this is the w plane so now we will see what is conformal mapping so if w is equals to f of z is analytic function and f dash z is not equals to 0 in the region r of the z plane then the mapping w is equals to f of z is the conformal mapping okay so this is the definition of the conformal mapping so note it down so now we will solve some sums related to the conformal mapping so now the first question is check w is equals to z square is conformal or not okay so solution so we have the two conditions for conformal that is for conformal mapping we have two conditions that given f of z should be analytic in the region of z in the region r of the z plane and second is f dash z should not be equals to zero okay so we will check this both the condition is satisfied or not so here w is equals to z square is given so which is in the form of w is equals to f of z okay so here f of z is z square which is the polynomial function okay so this is polynomial function now as we know that every polynomial functions are analytic okay so this f of z is analytic because every polynomial functions are analytic so here z square is polynomial so it is analytic now we will check f dash z is equals to 0 or not equals to 0 so here f of z is z square f dash z is equals to 2 z okay so here f of z here f dash z is not equals to 0 when z is not equals to 0 okay so we can write that when z is not equals to 0 then the f dash z is not equals to 0 that means the given question that is w is equals to z square is conformal everywhere except except at z is equals to at z is equals to 0 okay that means when z is 0 then this given question that is w is equals to z square is not conformal okay whenever z is not equals to 0 at all the places where z is not equals to 0 the given question is conformal okay so i hope you understood this question so now we will move towards the next question so the next question is check w is equals to e raised to z is conformal or not okay so the solution is for conformal we have two conditions i am writing again and again because you can revise it okay so for conformal the function f of z should be analytic in the region r of z plane and the second is that function f dash z should uh, the derivative of the function f of z should not be equals to zero these two conditions should be satisfied so now we will see the first condition so here w equals to e raised to z is given that means w is equals to f of z so here f of z equals to e raised to z so you can see this function is the exponential functions 
so in the module 1 when we had discussed the complex variable and complex function we had learned that every polynomial and every exponential functions are analytic everywhere so this function is analytic everywhere because it is exponential function okay so we got the first condition is satisfied so now we will check the f dash z so here f dash z should be or it will be e raised to z okay derivative of e raised to z is e raised to z so f dash z is equals to e raised to z so now this e raised to z or the exponential function can never be equals to 0 because whenever you put z is equals to 0 then it will become e raised to 0 so which is equals to 1 okay so this function in his life can never be equals to 0 okay so the so the f dash z is never equals to 0 that means the given function w is equals to e raised to z is conformal everywhere is conformal everywhere okay so that's all if you had any doubts please ask me in the comment section please like my channel for more educational videos and subscribe okay thank you